in this video I want to prove uh, the limit when x approaches 0 of this a to the power x minus 1 over x is natural log of a and I'm going to use this to prove that the derivative of the function y is equal to a to the power x is a to the power x times natural log of x by the first principle okay in the previous video I proved this without the first principle uh, so let us first prove this okay so the limit when x approaches 0 of a to the power x minus 1 over x is what we want to prove equal to natural log of x so I'm going to start with an assumption or letting let a to the power x minus 1 is equal to m okay therefore uh, when x approaches 0 what happens to m so when a is approaching 0 this is approaching 1 so this is uh, this is a constant so a constant to the power 0 is 1 so when x is approaching 0 this is approaching 1 so this implies m is approaching 0 so in other words when x is approaching 0 m is approaching also 0 okay so this implies therefore can I say a to the power x minus 1 is equal to m implies a to the power x is 1 plus m okay now taking log on both sides or natural log of on both sides so this implies natural log of a to the power x is equal to natural log of 1 plus m now applying the log rule this is nothing but x natural log of a is equal to natural log of 1 plus m this implies x is nothing but natural log of 1 plus m over a okay i'm going to use this in the limit that we have got in the limit that we have got so say we are going to save this x is nothing but natural log of 1 plus m over natural log of over natural log of a okay let me write this properly over natural log of a dividing both sides by natural log of a okay so i'll go back here and use a different color okay this implies so now we are changing the limit from x to m so we can say the limit when m approaches 0 of this is m over what is x x is natural log of 1 plus m over natural log of a and so let me write that as it is natural log of 1 plus m over natural log of a so the denominator the denominator becomes the numerator so this is nothing but the limit when m approaches 0 of natural log of a m times of course m times natural log of a over natural log of 1 plus m so let me save space here so this is equal to therefore i can say this is the limit when m approaches 0 of uh can i okay i'll delete this I'll start with so this is equal to I'll start with natural log of a times the limit when m approaches 0 of m over natural log of 1 plus m now let me delete this or oh, cancel I want space here I want you to think in a subtle way when in, in many cases it's limit is one of the subtlest uh, part of the most subtle thing of mathematics so you can say this is natural log of a times now I want you to think what happens see if m is approaching 0 the limit when m is approaching 0 of m over 1 natural log of 1 plus m so here this is approaching 0 
m is also approaching zero. So natural log of one we know is zero. So this is zero, approaching zero, and this is also approaching zero. So this means this is nothing but one. Okay, so I will show this on a graphic calculator. Now let me graph this. So if you graph this, so let m is a variable, so I can say that is x divided by, uh, sorry, x divided by natural log of 1 plus x. What does the graph look like? Now here, yeah, the function is not defined at x or when x is 0. So the graph looks like this. So the, our problem, our the question is, what is happening to this when m is approaching 0? So in this case, we are x. So let us find, use a graphic calculator, let us find y when x is approaching 0. So let us take a value which is very close to 0 from the right. So let us say it is 0 0.001. From the right, it is 1 point. So this is approaching 1. Okay. So let us say, let us draw it again and g solve y calc let us make it 0 0.00001 this is very close to 0 so this is approaching 1 okay now what happens if oops draw it this all if it is approaching 0 from the left because if you want to answer this question you have to find the limit from the right and the left so y calc so let us approach 0 from the left so it's negative 0 0.0001 this is approaching 1 okay from the left so this is very close to 1 okay so let us again draw it uh, g sol y calc negative 0 0.0001 okay so this is approaching 0 from the left this is again approaching 1 so we can see we have seen graphically and also analytically that this is almost becoming zero. M is approaching zero. And this is natural log of one is zero. So this is approaching zero. It's not exactly zero, but whatever this number is approaching, the same number is approaching here. That means both the numerator and denominator are the same. So this is nothing but one. So we have proved the first result. So we can say uh, this is nothing but this is equal to natural log of e. So this, we're going to use this, the limit, this is a very important, a very useful result, the limit when x approaches 0 of e to the power x minus 1 over x is natural log of e. So let us use that to prove uh, the derivative of e to the power x. So, let us start like this. So f of x is a to the power x. Okay, so f of x plus h would be a to the power x plus h. So uh, derivative by, or you can say derivative or differentiation, derivative by first principle, first principle is f dash x is equal to the limit when h approaches 0 of f, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. This is the, the derivative by the first principle, the formula of derivative by the first principle. So this is equal to the limit when h approaches 0 of a to the power x plus h minus a to the power x over h. So this is nothing but the limit when h approaches 0 of a to the power x times a to the power h minus a to the power x over h. Okay, so what can we factor out? So this is, you can factor out a to the power x times, I'm distributing the limit, so the limit when h approaches 0 
of a to the power x minus 1 over h. So we just proved that the limit when x approaches 0 of a to the power x minus 1 over x is natural log of a. So we can use that same formula here. So this is this can be written as natural log of a. So, so this is nothing but that a to the power x times natural log of a. Because this is, we already proved that this and this are the same. 